Hello and welcome to our beautiful home here in Windy Fredvang in Western Lofoten. We are Ivar and Ratka, the faces behind Guide to Lofoten. In today's video we would like to tell you everything you need to know about the ferries in Lofoten, particularly the infamous Boda Moskanes ferry. And if you will stick to with us throughout the video, we will show you some uh, tips and tricks uh, on how to save not only time but also money when you are planning your next trip. And I'm so sorry, we will do it again. Let's get to it. <laughs> no, this is the last one. This no, is the one we keep. No. Let's just no. roll the intro. No, 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 no. This is a video we've been wanting to make for a while. Almost daily we get questions on our Facebook groups about the Buda Moskenes ferry. And we understand why, since the ferry schedule can be a bit confusing. And for most people it's critically important that they make the ferry so they can get to their organized activities in time, check into their hotels or at the end of the trip catch a number of planes eventually taking you home. And it all starts with the Buda Moskenes ferry. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we will try to tell you absolutely everything we know about the Bode Moskenes ferry and the Bode Svolvær express boat. And we will briefly touch upon the Skutvik Skrova Svolvær ferry as well. If you watch to the end, you will learn how you can take the ferry from Bode to Moskenes for free, even with your vehicle. This tip alone can save you over 4000 kroner on a return trip if you are driving a long camper van or a caravan. We will also give you our number one tip for how to spend as little time as possible waiting for the ferry, without risking being left behind. So make sure you watch this one to the very end. Bode is one of the largest cities in North Norway, and a perfect starting point for your trip to the spectacular Lofoten Islands. All you need to do to start exploring Lofoten is to take a car ferry from Bode to Moskenes. We are going to answer all the top questions about the ferries from Bode to Lofoten in this video. And of course, much more. We spent six months running an accommodation in the western part of Lofoten in 2021. During that time we drove numerous guests to the ferry terminal in Moskenes to either catch their ferry to Bode or picking them up and driving them to our Rorbu. As a result we have seen people missing their ferries, queuing in the wrong lines and in general having a lot of questions about this ferry connection. So we hope this Bode Moskenes ferry guide will help you plan a smooth trip to and from the Lofoten Islands and save you some headaches and maybe some money. Let's start with question number one. Bode is easily accessible by plane from other Norwegian airports. There are direct daily flights from Oslo and Bergen to Bode airport, conveniently located just 3 km from the Bode ferry terminal. Bode is also the northernmost place in Norway where you can arrive by train. Okay, except from Narvik of course, but then you have to come through Sweden. You can rent a car at Bode airport, and if you have time, explore the surroundings of Bode, which, by the way, is crazily beautiful. Let's show you some of the places we visited last year on our three-day trip south of Bode. The crossing of the Vestfjord from Bode to the Lofoten Islands is a beautiful scenic route that takes you right into the most stunning part of Lofoten. If your initial destination is Reine or anywhere west of Leknes, then the Bode Moskenes ferry is the best option for you. If you have time, make the crossing into a scenic voyage via the islands of Røst and Værøy. Especially Værøy, which in our opinion is one of the most beautiful places in the whole of Lofoten. First, you need to know that you can choose from two different routes when sailing between Bode and Moskenes. You have the direct ferries that sail up to 8 times daily in the summer between Bode and Moskenes. The travel time is between 3 and 4 hours. You can also take the longer route via Røst and Værøy. So the route would be Bode, Røst, Værøy, Moskenes. The ferries on this route sail up to 4 times a day in the summer. This journey takes about 7 hours. 
there's a different schedule for the summer months which are approximately June 3rd to September 4th and the rest of the year when there are fewer departures. I will not go into details here, but beware that the Bodo Moskva schedule is pretty confusing. So triple check that you're looking at the correct season, the correct day of the week and the correct route. Also, I didn't even consider that this could be confusing until somebody mentioned it to us in one of our Facebook groups. But two of the ferries are named the same as two ferry stations. So when you look at the schedule, you might confuse the ferries with the station names. Or you might think that the ferry called Vare only goes to Vare. It doesn't by the way. Stuff like this is what makes this ferry schedule confusing. It's not unique to the Bode Moskenes ferry though. The ferry between Solvær, Skrova and Skutvik in eastern Lofoten is called Røst which is an island located over here. And as you may know, it's a part of the longer route between Bodø and Moskenes. So just keep that in mind. If you feel it is too complicated to understand the Bodø Moskenes ferry schedule, you can use the Norwegian National Travel Planner entur.no or you can look it up on the webpage of the ferry company Torghatten Nord. The ferry terminal in Bodø is located right next to the train station, just a short walk away from Bodø city center. The Coastal Express Hurtigruten and Bodø Moskenes ferry share the same terminal building. The terminal has a heated waiting room and it's open 24-7 with restrooms. At Bodø train station you will find luggage storage where you can leave your suitcase while exploring the city. The price is 60 to 80 nook per day depending on the size of your luggage. The maximum renting period is 7 days. Moskenes is a small village that does not offer much more than a ferry terminal and a camping site. The terminal has a small sheltered, heated waiting room with public restrooms. However, be aware that it is not allowed to sleep or camp inside. Also, if you need to spend the night in Moskenes waiting for the ferry, please do not go to Sørvågen and camp around the Sørvågen lake next to the E10. A couple of days before making this video, we joined a community meeting in Sørvågen and we were shocked to hear what the locals had to endure during the summer. Of tents everywhere and watching people shitting all around the lake and even in people's gardens. And what surprised us the most is that even tour groups of up to 20 people would camp around the lake. And what's even worse is the local kindergarten used the areas around the lake as a playground. So please, please camp at Moskenes Camping. They have really nice facilities and are located just a stone throws away from the terminal. We will leave a link to our article on wild camping in Lofoten in the description. If you read only one article before coming here, let it be that one. The closest grocery store to the Moskenes ferry terminal is in Sørvågen, about two and a half kilometers away. So do not expect that you will be able to buy any snacks or food at arrival. There is a small canteen on board the ferry where you can buy prepared food and snacks. Next to the waiting room there is a bus stop. The bus departures and arrivals mostly correspond to the ferry departures. However, there won't be any bus service if you arrive or depart early in the morning or late at night. And don't count on taxis waiting at the ferry terminal either. You will have to call a cab in advance, however be aware that they are usually busy or an hour or more away, so it's not a reliable service in our experience, especially in the weekends. So how do you get to your accommodation then? About 50 meters away from the dock you will find the rent a car Moskenes. They are somewhat old fashioned regarding booking but provide one of the cheapest rental cars in Lofoten. The best way to contact them is via phone or Facebook. We offer discount codes for rent a car Moskenes for our customers buying our camping map of Lofoten. So check that out, it's the perfect trip planner tool for Lofoten, full of helpful information as well as several discount codes for some of the best activities and accommodations Lofoten has to offer. Some people think that the ferry from Bode goes to Reine, not Moskenes. Please beware that it's a 5 km walk from Moskenes to Reine on the main road with no path for pedestrians. Moreover, some consider Hamne, where they booked accommodation in Elias Rorbur, a part of Reine. Note that the distance from Elias Rorbur to Moskenes ferry terminal is 9 km. On most ferry connections in Norway, you do not need to book a ticket in advance. Usually when you arrive at the ferry terminal, you line up in a queue, and when the ferry docks, you drive on board. You pay for the ticket via the electronic toll system that registers your car's license plate. 
However, the car ferry between Bode and Moskenes in Lofoten is an extremely popular route, especially during the busy summer season. Therefore, Torghatten Nord, the company operating this route, introduced the possibility of reserving your spot on board. We will talk more about that in a minute. When you arrive at the Moskenes ferry terminal, pay attention to the signs and line up in the correct line. Some ferries go directly from Moskenes to Bode, while others take a detour via the small islands of Väre and Röst. Lines 17 and 18 are for the cars heading to Väre Island, while line 16 is reserved for those heading to Röst Island. The rest of the lines are for vehicles going to Bode, with lines 8 to 11 reserved for those who pre-booked their tickets. Check the correct lines for your destination and park your vehicle in the line with the lowest number. The two Väre lines often fill up in the high season. Then instead of creating a long parking queue behind the second Väre line, essentially blocking traffic on the dock, it's acceptable to park at the neighboring Röst line. The ferry crew will ask you if you're going to Röst and they will ensure you get placed correctly on the ferry. The place guarantee on the Bode Moskenes ferry comes with at least a 235 kroner reservation fee, depending on your vehicle size. Note that two thirds of the ferry's capacity is open for pre-booking. That means that when a booking page shows that the ferry is sold out, it includes only the spot that can be pre-booked. You can therefore still get a place on the ferry if you arrive early enough to the queue. Okay, let's talk about how to book your tickets. Uh, first, you need to choose the ticket type. Then you select the departure time, fill in the driver and vehicle information, fill in your card information and reserve your spot. If you have pre-booked your tickets, you should arrive no later than 45 minutes before the ferry departure. There is no rule of thumb about how soon you should start to queue up in case you did not pre-book your ticket. It all depends on the date, day of the week, time of the day, weather and other factors that are hard to predict. If you plan to travel in the high season, which is approximately from June 15th to August 15th and are dependent on the ferry to get to the Bode train station or Bode airport in time, we strongly advise you to pre-book your tickets. For example, we were denied boarding when we wanted to travel to Vare in July 2022, despite arriving one and a half hours before the scheduled departure, and wishing to take the slow ferry that sails to Bode via Vare and Röst. However, since it was the last ferry that day, we had to spend an extra night in Lofoten and take another ferry the following morning, that sailed only half full. The ferry price depends on several factors, like your travel date, the length of your car, whether you have a fossil or zero emission vehicle, and whether you have an Autopass chip with a discount. You can use a ferry ticket price calculator to check which prices apply to you. If you have an Autopass Ferie agreement and want an overview of what price you have been charged, you can log in using the same page. The Bode Moskenes ferry is free for foot passengers and bicyclists, and for these people there is no need to pre-book a spot on board. It only happened a few times during Covid when the ferry capacity was cut in half that pedestrians would be denied access on board due to full capacity. These incidents were so rare that they would even reach the local newspapers. If you want to pre-book the ticket to be 100% sure that you will get a place on the ferry, remember that you will pay 225 kroner as a reservation fee. But again, outside of an ongoing pandemic, it is not needed. Apart from the Bode Moskenes ferry, you also have a pedestrian-only speedboat that goes daily between Bode and Svolvær, in the eastern part of Lofoten. This ferry is not for free, in fact, it's quite expensive. If you plan to travel in Lofoten using public transport, you might want to purchase the travel pass Nolan. It costs 1290 kroner for 7 days of unlimited public transport in Nolan municipality, which includes buses in the whole of Lofoten, Bode and the area south of Bode as well as the municipality bus number 300 from Narvik and Evenes airport to Lofoten. 
This ticket also includes the express ferry between Bode and Solen. To take advantage of the express ferry with your travel pass Nolan, you go to Reis Nolan and in the ticket section, you scroll down until you find a travel pass Nolan. Since the express boat is included in the travel pass Nolan, you do not pay anything, but you still need to pre-book your spot. The page where you can book the speedboat ticket between Bode and Solvay is available only in Norwegian though. While the Hurtigruten and Bode Moskenes car ferry share the same ferry terminal, the passenger-only speedboat to Solvay leaves from Bode Centrumsterminal Kain. On the Bode Moskenes ferry you are allowed to bring your dog on board. However, your four-legged friend either has to spend the whole journey in a cage in a designated room with no seating, so you cannot really sit next to your pet, but just check up on him occasionally, or you can leave him in the car. You are not allowed to be in the car yourself during the sailing, so make sure you take your dog for a walk before you board the ferry. The ferry between Bode and Lofoten sails on the open sea and the crossing can sometimes be rough. If you are prone to seasickness, check the weather forecast before your trip and use medication to control your symptoms. The ferry will be cancelled if the weather forecast predicts particularly stormy weather. The cancellations usually occur during the autumn or winter, however they can also happen in summer. To all of you still watching, thank you for watching all this way. We know it's not the most sexy topic to listen to, but we hope this video has been informative so far. And if you feel like it, make sure you click on the like button. It helps us reach out to even more people that would like to know more about the Lofoten Ferries. And consider subscribing to our channel where we will create more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much. Earlier I promised you our number one tip for spending as little time as possible waiting for the ferry. So here it is. The Bode, Moskenes and Vare ferry terminals all have web cameras that update live pictures all day. You can then know at all times how many cars are waiting for the ferry. So when you see it starting to fill up, you can slowly make your way to the ferry terminal. This can easily give you another half day of fun in the areas around the ferry terminal. Of course, we don't recommend going for a longer hike, but you can visit the Stockfish Museum or the Fishing Village Museum in Åre, or go for a short hike to the viewpoint at Ole Nilsø without having to worry about not making the ferry. Since July 1st, 2022, the ferry connections in Norway that had less than 100,000 passengers using 2019 numbers are now free of charge, both for passengers and cars. In Lofoten, this applies to the summer ferry Svolvar Skrova Skutvik, operated from June 1st to August 31st, but also the longer route Moskenes, Bari, Røst and Bode. Let me explain a bit more about the second one. As we have mentioned before, the ferry between Moskenes and Bode has two different routes. A direct one between Moskenes and Bode, completing the crossing in about 3.5 to 4 hours, and a longer route stopping along the way on the islands of Vare and Røst, extending the trip between Moskenes and Bode to 7 hours. The direct trip from Moskenes to Bode can cost you up to 2200 kroner if you travel with a big campervan. However, if you plan a stopover on one of the islands of Vare or Røst, then you don't pay anything. The only condition is to disembark the ferry on one of these islands and continue your trip on board another ferry to either Moskenes or Bode. Passengers traveling without a vehicle do not pay anything, of course, even on the direct route. We recommend spending a day at Vare, which is a small island located about 30 kilometers from the western coast of the Lofoten Islands. It's a tiny concentrated version of Lofoten that offers a lively fishing community, stunning landscapes, fascinating history, and numerous well signposted hiking trails. The highlight is the hike to Hohaya, but you can easily spend three days exploring the island. Those of you who bought our camping map of Lofoten can find information and trail maps on the most popular hikes as well as the best free camping spot in the whole of Lofoten in your map. It's an epic place to watch the midnight sun, sunsets or the northern lights in the darker months. For links to all the web pages we have discussed today, check out our article on the Moskenes ferry, which I will leave a link to in the description. It's a great resource to bookmark and come back to again and again when planning your trip. Okay, that's all from us today. Hopefully you learned something new about the ferries between Bode and Lofoten. If you have any questions about the ferries or if you just want to say hi, we would love it if you write us a comment. 
and make sure to follow our channel for more videos on Lofoten. We also have a fast growing Facebook community, so you are welcome to follow us there for more Lofoten related content. Check out links to everything below, until next time, take care.